Hello everyone, this is Leave straight from the Kalkine studio. You're watching Go Green with Kalkine. In this video, let's look at how Australia is advancing to make a shift towards renewable sources. Australia's power industry is facing pressure to curb its emissions and reduce electricity bills for households and for small businesses. It's a challenging time for the power industry because there's a lot that needs attention, be it the transition to cleaner energy, falling wholesale power prices, or the government rules forcing companies to slash electricity bills for households and small businesses. Energy Australia's Managing Director Catherine Tanner has decided to retire after seven years at the top and will be replaced by the head of its customer business. The sudden exits of the bosses of AGL Energy and Queensland state-owned Stanwall Corp have raised many eyebrows. Here are some of the silver linings for these challenging times. The country's third largest power retailer, Energy Australia, has approved the expansion of its Talawara power station after reaching an agreement with the Government of New South Wales. Notably, the expansion will make the Talawara station in the Illawarra region near Sydney the country's first net zero emissions hydrogen and gas power plant, plant which will be operating in time for the summer of 2023-24 will deliver power to around 150,000 homes. According to estimates from the Australian Pipelines and Gas Association, a single high renewable electricity system can deliver emission reductions of at least 95% below current levels in the national electricity market. This estimate comes after a new report by Frontier Economics which assessed the value of gas power generation in supporting renewables in the national electricity market. The report found that 93% renewables and 7% gas was the best value combination. According to the Pipelines and Gas Association, very high renewable electricity systems can function reliably and at a much lower cost when connected to a gas pipeline network. Now to Australia's second most populated state, Victoria. Victoria has vowed to cut greenhouse gas emissions by up to 50% by 2030, based on 2005 levels. A commitment has also been made to power all government operations like schools and hospitals with renewable energy within the next four years. The Victorian government calls it an ambitious goal. The region will spend 100 million Australian dollars transforming its transport sector, the state's second biggest source of emissions. While the Australian government is struggling to match the new net zero targets pledged by the United States and other nations, it seems at least the Australian states are doing their bit to try and cut emissions. Well that's all for now, I'll be back with more shows on clean energy, renewables and climate change themes soon. I'm Liv for Calkine.